You keep on calling out to Allah. You keep on asking Allah, even though Allah knows what the end is going to be. Because if you didn't, then Allah would have known that you gave up and therefore you did not achieve something. So this is what you need to remember. Because you don't know and Allah knows, does not mean that you should give up. Rather, you don't know. So you should try your best and make sure that whatever is written, inshallah, it's going to be the best. I'm going to go to paradise by the will of Allah. I'm going to try my best. I'm going to seek forgiveness. I'm going to keep on calling out to Allah, not just for guidance, but guidance being the most important thing thereafter, all my needs. I first start with Allah. Let me give you another example. You go to the doctor and the doctor diagnoses you and says you need a procedure. Firstly, you before you go to the doctor, you call out to Allah. Oh Allah, I'm going to the doctor. Make it easy for me. Cure me. Let the doctor diagnose correctly. When you go to the doctor and the doctor diagnoses, it will be the help of Allah that will have guided the doctor to do the right thing. See, then when the doctor says a procedure is required, you ask Allah, Oh Allah, Oh Allah, guide the hand of this doctor so that the procedure can be fulfilled in the most correct way. And so, Allah guides that hand and so the procedure is successful. It was the supplication of Allah, the acceptance of Allah to guide the doctor to do the right thing. Ultimately, who was it? It was Allah. Allah gave the doctor the capacity, just like Allah gives you the capacity to stand up or to even watch this right now or listen to it. Subhanallah. My brothers, my sisters, many of us give up after we've called out to Allah. Remember, Allah Almighty does not want you to give up. What He wants from you, He says, you call out to me, I will give you either what you want as you want it. One of the ways of accepting the prayer. Or if I know that it's not good for you, I will give you something else in place of that. That's another way. Because you don't know what the future holds. You're asking Allah for something and He knows, hey, that's so bad for this person. He doesn't give it to you. Sometimes Allah delays what you want to the appropriate time in this world, or perhaps he will keep for you something amazing in the hereafter, or he may, you know, he may protect you from calamity that was coming in your direction as a result of the dua that you have made. So remember, keep making dua to Allah. Whether he is going to give you exactly what you want or not, leave it to him and trust him and be happy with what he gives you as a result. That is the favor of Allah. Let's keep calling out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and let's keep seeking his mercy and guidance. May Allah guide us all to the straight path. Ameen.